Can we just talk a little bit about some of your found? I know you have a vast amount of research, but some of the foundational research on gender, specifically starting with social role theory and what that means for the non-academics in the room. <laughs> right. Well, social role theory gives a lot of emphasis to the way society is organized in terms of what, in this case, women and men do in their lives. Um, and how that shapes their thinking and their behavior and everything around them. Um, so it's a theory that gives a lot of importance to the fact that women and men actually are fairly segregated yeah. in life. In the home, not as extreme as it used to be, but there is still you know, a division of labor with women doing more of the child care the cooking and other tasks. Um, but even beyond that, in the labor force, we have a lot of segregation. Um, things have changed because most women are employed, you know, and 75 years ago, that wasn't the case. But women moved in to a lot of uh, service jobs, a lot of jobs demanding social skills as the economy changed. Sure. Where there are a lot of women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's still not so many men in many other occupations. And even when women enter occupations that are used to be fairly close to them, like being a physician, a, a kind of an internal segregation develops. Oh, interesting. Where women dominate pediatrics. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are very strong in gynecology and dermatology. Sure, yeah. which makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, but does it? Yeah. <laughs> Why not surgery? Yeah, yeah. But it's not surgery. So the fact that we're doing different things then kind of shapes us and our behavior along lines that are more traditional that a lot of us would like to acknowledge. Yeah. And so rather than seeing um, the personalities and behaviors of women and men as built in necessarily through evolution, we see them as being shaped by life experience more, more than many other gender theorists do. Okay. So around that division of labor, we develop stereotypes about women and men. They're not fictions. They're based on what we see. We see women <laughs> doing a lot of activities that demand social skills. Yeah. And we see men much more working with things, you know, building things, being engineers. <laughs> yeah, tech. Yeah. Tech and in tech. And then we get ideas about men and women being different. But we didn't make it up. We saw it. Yeah. And then that shapes us uh, to, to be different. That shapes our own selves. And so it's a kind of a cycle that goes on. Uh, in which life experience and the social structure, the kinds of roles men and women have, um, are given a primary emphasis. 